Now, in my hand there is a modified YouTube. You know YouTube? YouTube. So, ye, this is little bit modified. That means, it is coming this way and going there. Now, I have some colored water so that you can see. If I pour this colored water from here, and when the colored water gradually rises to this level, you have to tell me on which portion or which level on the second arm it will come. Think and tell me, all four of you. I shall be pouring water here. Water will come through this, this is much lower level, then it will go up. My question is where this label will be in the second tube. Tell me, do not worry. Up to here, if the label is here, how do you say up to this? It will depend on the quantity of the water. Quantity of water is very much, I can go on. Also, the pressure of the water. Pressure of the water will be according to the column. If this pressure is that much, this pressure can be same or something else will happen. Ah, let us do it. Doing is a fun. Okay? Now, I am going to pour the water in one of the column. This is a colored water. So, you can see from a distance. Up to this, you see there is no problem. Normally, you two, what happens? They are at equal levels. Why equal levels? Yes. Because through this atmospheric pressure is acting, through this also atmospheric pressure acting, that means pressure on the top of it is equal. And in hydrostatic, we have learned that, that at the same level pressures are equal. Now, I pour more water. Now, a certain thing is now going to happen. You see, here the label is horizontal, but here the label is inclined. But in your book, it is given that if you have a horizontal barometer, that label will be horizontal. But why this is so? Because the YouTube has been, uh, it is bent. Yes. Bent, but it can be this like this, I mean along this horizontal, it can be horizontal like this, but instead of it goes up. With respect to this, it is at a higher level. So, it should give pressure, but it is not coming down. Something other forces acting. I shall talk about it later on. Now, I put more water. Now, see what happens. Something else is going to happen. Already it is here. I shall pour little bit of water. Now, you see this is here, there is a trapped air here and it has come over here, not even here, not even here, not even here. Why this has happened? Because of the… Because of the air. How the air gap has come? Because it is a white tube. What happens when the liquid comes over here, it rolls down. It does not go as a whole. A part of the liquid rolls down near here and it closes it. When some water is coming over here, it closes it. Then no more water can go in this direction. So, air is trapped. Now, can you tell me whether the pressure of this air is more than atmospheric pressure or less than atmospheric pressure or same? You know atmospheric pressure? Yes. Okay. So, is it more, less or same? How to calculate? You see here atmospheric pressure is acting, here also atmospheric pressure is acting. So, at this level, they are at the same level, so their pressure should be same. So, when their pressure is same, then what I mean? The length of this water is really exerting pressure at this point. So, now the atmospheric pressure plus this pressure due to this liquid column is exerting on them. Now, a small question I am asking. The difference between these two, what will be the value? This and this. 
this is also there is a difference what will be the value is there somewhere you can find it the same as that the upper one. Huh? this one oh, yeah. q because air inside will have a same pressure everywhere so this pressure if it is have to be same then what happens this column of liquid should be equal to this column of liquid so this is an experiment to show that how we cannot think that means when a modified tube is here everyone has to think since it is modified something is to do here so anybody any people should observe it that what can happen at this point and when i do the experiment then the children has seen that the water really rolls down here trapping a portion of the liquid and that is why the labels will never be equal. My experience is that 90 percent people used to say that these two labels will be equal, but they will never equal and this part you have not yet learned probably this is because of the surface tension. Because this wall of the tube is pulling the liquid. So, when it is trying to horizontal you see slightly I move it see it rolls down and it is almost vertical. So, this is a very excellent experiment to show that we have some preconceived idea. We thought that all the U2 will have the same label on the two arms. It is not possible. It depends on the shape and how I prepare it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.